In this video, we'll explore all the failed Indoraptors of InGen and Masrani Corps. But first, let's begin with the story of a disgusting hybrid that was a precursor to the Indominus Rex and the Indoraptor. This prototype, shall we call it, was Scorpio's Rex, one of Dr. Henry Wu's most ghastly creations. Dr. Wu confirmed the Scorpio's Rex was chronologically the world's first hybrid dinosaur, predating the Indominus Rex. This disproves the popular fan theory that the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 was a hybrid due to its very terrestrial lifestyle. Over the years, scientists have described Spinosaurus as flatter and flatter. And nowadays, everyone's in agreement that this former badass was nothing but an oversized duck. Anyway, the show's executive producer, Scott Creamer, has confirmed that the Scorpios was Wu's first attempt at hybridizing dinosaurs. Despite many setbacks and Masrani claiming the dinosaur was too grotesque to be put on display, Wu insisted on keeping the hybrid. However, after barely surviving an attack from the hybrid, Wu eventually came to realize, finally, it was far too dangerous to set loose, let alone placed as a park attraction for the public. With Masrani and Mills deeming the creature to be too unstable, Wu shut down the project and kept Scorpio in a cryogenic sleep, intending to never release it. This secret was heavily guarded, so very few people actually knew of the hybrid's existence. The hybrid had the ability to reproduce asexually due to frog DNA. As a result, the single S-Rex managed to give birth to another one of its species. Paired with the fact that Scorpio's Rex also had accelerated growth, the population of the deadly creature would have increased rapidly if left unchecked. The Scorpio's Rex design and some of its poses are reminiscent of the human dinosaur hybrids that were intended for Jurassic Park 4. But the idea was thankfully scrapped. The Scorpio's Rex is the only hybrid dinosaur in the franchise who isn't known to have killed a human, although it has killed many other dinosaurs. Henry Wu's lust for tinkering with nature and playing God was not over yet. Years after opening, Jurassic World's attendance steadily declined, causing Simon and Mizrani to call an emergency meeting, where the board unanimously agreed that a new attraction for Jurassic World would be needed to satisfy investors. After finishing the meeting, Simon emailed Dr. Henry Wu his approval to create a new species. The result was a genetically modified hybrid of several dinosaur genera and modern animals. Development of the hybrids began in 2012 in the Hammond Creation Lab, sometime after the board meeting. Two Irex were meant to be kept in a paddock that had walls 12 meters high, 40 feet. This was also planned in case one of them died. The older Indominus Rex eventually cannibalized her own sibling and would also attack the workers of her paddock. The Irex eventually figured how to use her camouflage abilities, reducing her thermal signature and finally escaping the paddock. She went on to wreak havoc across Jurassic World, leading to its closure. The Indoraptor was created in a hidden lab in the Lockwood Manor. Yet again, this was one of Dr. Henry Wu's creations, similar to the previous two species. It was a prototype as Wu was waiting to obtain Blue's blood to finalize the genome of the creature. Wu's experiments led to many deformed, mutated Indoraptors who didn't live very long due to harmful mutations. But Wu carried on unfazed. Colin Trevorrow, one of the main writers of Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom, stated that he liked the idea of Indoraptor being extremely sickly with its skin peeling off eventually. The creators of Fallen Kingdom even experimented with an Indoraptor that possessed mostly Dilophosaurus DNA. Concept artist Carl Lindbergh produced the following concepts for the movie that were ultimately scrapped. The Indoraptor was created as a weapon and was shown to attack on command through visual and audio frequencies, which drove him into a frenzied state. However, due to being a prototype, he lacked any of the positive characteristics Wu wanted to create in him. He lacked the ability to follow orders, other than his conditioning to visual and audio cues, and lacked any of the positive personality traits seen in Blue, such as her ability to show empathy and bond with a trainer or handler. As such, Blue was a required piece of the finalized Indoraptor design, and she was needed to act not only as the DNA source, but also as a mother figure for the next generation of Indoraptors to imprint on and learn positive behavior from. There were originally meant to be two Indoraptors, 
one white and one black, who would eventually fight, leaving the black one we saw in the movie victorious. The experiments once again led to disaster, with dinosaurs wreaking havoc across the mansion, and eventually escaping into the wild. Is a Jurassic World Dinotopia on the cards? For Dominion, we shall see. It's unknown if Dr. Wu is currently in possession of any Indoraptor genetic samples. If he failed to take them during the evacuation, then the only remaining Indoraptor genetic source would be the carcass of the prototype, which died in 2018. The current location and status of the carcass is unknown. The last accessible samples of Indominus DNA was destroyed during the incident also. And as Wu is unable to access the samples that were seized by the US government following the Jurassic World incident, it may be impossible for him to create another Indoraptor genome. So there you have it. Oh, and Colin Trevorrow confirmed there will be no hybrids in Jurassic World Dominion, and also confirmed that the DNA makeup of the Indoraptor does not include any human DNA. So there you have it. And next week it will be a dinosaur battle. So comment below which two dinosaurs should battle next and also tell me which one of these concept pieces of the Indoraptor do you like the most. I've been VK, I'll see you later.